I love the book of Nehemiah. Next year in our Connect Group Leaders training sessions for the whole year, we meet together every month from all of our Connect Group Leaders around the world. We meet together and I teach them and I train them. This year, I'm teaching them about keeping leadership clean. Next year, I'm going to walk them through Ezra and Nehemiah, learning some of the most beautiful truths of leadership. Now, in one of these passages today, we see the faithfulness and how it unlocks covenant, and we see stubbornness and how it causes people to choose bad leadership. So let's take a look at this today. Nehemiah 9, beginning with verse 7. You, O Lord, God, have you chose Abram and brought him from Ur of the Chaldeans and renamed him Abraham. Now, notice what happens next. When he proved himself faithful, that would have been the tithing in Genesis 14 and 15, refusing to allow other men to make him rich. When he proved himself faithful, you made a covenant with him. I'll give you a secret. When Brother John comes over, he's going to teach you a new book he's been working on called The Abrahamic Covenant. It's beautiful. When he proved himself faithful, you made a covenant with him to give him and his descendants the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Gershonites. And you have done what you have promised, for you are always true to your word. Now notice, Nehemiah said, because Abraham proved faithful, God made a covenant with him. God does not make covenants with unfaithful people. I, I sometimes see young pastors that say, God is speaking to me that he wants to go do this. I said, I don't believe that for a minute. Well, how can you say that? Because you're never faithful. You, you don't do what God has already asked you to do, but you're already saying God is telling you to do something bigger and greater. I said, God only rewards faithfulness. He never rewards laziness. Abraham proved himself faithful, and God made a covenant with him. But now look down at verse 15. You gave them bread from heaven when they were hungry and water from the rock when they were thirsty. You commanded them to go and take possession of the land you had sworn to give them. But our ancestors were proud and stubborn, and they paid no attention to your commands. You know what? Sometimes God's people get like that. They're proud and stubborn and you can show them something in the Bible, they're not going to believe you. And listen, look at what these people do. These people who are proud and stubborn and don't want to pay attention to God's command, look at what they do. They refused to obey and did not remember the miracles you had done for them. Instead, they became stubborn and appointed a leader to take them back to their slavery in Egypt. Now, you can always tell stubborn, rebellious people. They don't pay attention to God. And they don't pay attention to the leaders that God placed in their life. They didn't want to pay attention to Moses. Nehemiah gives us this beautiful summary. They always want to go and choose another leader that will lead them back to what they want. Now, for me and my house, I want to be like Abraham. I want to be faithful. I want to prove myself faithful. And God will make covenants with me. I don't want to be stubborn and rebellious and not pay attention to God and go choose leaders that will lead me to do what I want to do. I want to follow God in my life. How about you?